train station. Look at this, one hour and 45 minutes remaining at half. It's again, it's a very cold evening at the train station. And I'm going to go take my dog for a walk and see if it actually is going to speed up. This is about the slowest I've seen it from this one. Um, half and nearly two hours, so it's kind of running at seven kilowatt. That's that's pretty um, pretty low. We'll see if it um, warms up. Current time 2016 according to this clock. So we'll see what it is when we come back, and we'll see what's left on the uh, on the actual remaining timer. Time to take this fairly impatient dog for a walk. Okay, back from our walk. Exactly nine o'clock. So the car has been charging for 45 minutes. Ooh, look at that. A husky. Evening. That's actually a lanky tight, see? Anyway, the car has been charging for about 45 minutes, so let's see if it actually got faster. It's still charging, that's a good sign. 88%, ooh. Yeah, one hour still remaining. In other words, it did not get any faster. Oh well, let's just go home and have to do. Afternoon everyone. It is Sunday, November, uh, December 28th and I am on my way to Limerick. Um, I left the house with about 85% and it is a lovely Okay, I'm at the Limerick Milk Market. Now, there's something very, very strange with this. There was somebody online who was saying that this thing isn't working. Now, it is saying system booting. I don't know if you can read that. System booting, but as you can hear and as you can read, it is actually charging. Very strange. Um, okay, so it looks like I'll just... Uh, I'll leave the car here for a little while, I'll go and do my business, and we'll see what's excellent. Alright, I have disconnected. Uh, 80 kilometers. I've only been here, what, half an hour? Um, not a little bit more. It was about five, no, about half an hour. Um, I'm going to go and check out some of the other um, charge points um, in Limerick City. And uh, we'll see how I get on. I know that this one is working, so I can come back here and uh, charge up enough to get home should I need to. Uh, excellent. On our way. Perry Street, if that's how you pronounce it. I don't think they're electric cars. Anyway, um, there's the charge point. I'm over here. Um, I'm going to plug in just to see if they work, but that looks like a pretty good charge point to me. Now, I'll just move a little bit further down the road. Perry Square. The charge point is up there. It's working perfectly well. Again, 22 kilowatts. <laughs> Excellent. I just noticed that these charge points actually don't say electric car only, they just say electric car charge point, they don't say it's distinctly forbidden for anybody else who isn't an electric car and isn't charging to actually park here. It's uh, a little bit ridiculous to be quite honest. Um, we need to upgrade the signs and start enforcing a few things around here. It's well used though, 5,000 kilowatts, 3,000 on that side, well, 500 even, sorry, 500 kilowatts. It's well used though. Anyway, we'll go for a little wander here. In the People's Park. Awesome.
Alright, so I'm on the gate. Now, um, someone had pressed the emergency button, which is over here, in case somebody actually finds this that is emergency stop detected. You see the little arrows there? Just turn it around and the, bot the button will actually unpress. So once I did that, it actually is saying it's ready. So let's plug in and see what happens, okay? So let's see. Charge your vehicle. AC. Connect and validate. So, one thing with these cables is that they're big and they're heavy and annoying to do with just one hand. Okay. And vehicle charging. <laughs> so it is only the DC that is out of order. Oh, sorry, that came out a little bit too um, evil. <laughs> okay, um, excellent. So this also works. Um, I'm gonna get some refreshments around here. There's actually a lovely castle further down the road. I might go for a wander over there as well. Let this car fill up fully. But it is working. Awesome. Um, that's it for today. 100% charge. I just disconnected 114 kilometers. I only need about, oh, what is it? 70 to get home. Um, so time to go home and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Um, so this was um, basically my little research trip to Limerick. <laughs> I like doing these things once now that I have this car and the infrastructure is free. Um, so basically I tried three charge points here, the ones that were marked as available. They all work for Zoe, which is great. Um, little observations, they're all marked, but there's no sign that says electric car charging only, no parking at any time. So I can see these chargers being very difficult to get to uh, during shop hours or during an event or anything like that. When it's busy in the city, I'm just lucky at the moment because it's a Sunday. Um, I reckon if it's if it's a if it's a normal working day, it'll be very difficult to get to that. Now, marking alone won't cut it. It just it just won't. There has to be some enforcement in the sense that um, people need to know that these cars, these parking spots, they're not parking spots. These are charging spots, not parking spots. And that if they park in here, there will be consequences. So that it might deter people, even the people who haven't heard of electric cars, put a no parking sticker on it. Put you know a big huge P with a sort of you know a red line through it. Uh, nine simple words, uh, electric car charging only, no parking at any time. Done. It really can't be that difficult. Um, there is this, there is this, you know, an actual law in place now that these spots are for electric cars charging only, not even parking, charging only. So, I mean, you know, what's the problem? Get it done. Um, then my fourth charger that I tried was this one, uh, which is marked offline on the map now. On the map it says uh, it's at uh, offline and DC. Um, I've seen someone on Facebook comment on the fact that it gave an inverter error, and that led me to believe that the only thing that is actually offline was the DC side, because the DC side needs an inverter to go from AC to DC. And I was correct, it worked perfectly fine for my car. Um, it just goes to show that the map that ESB have at the moment, now they are working on an update, but at the moment, the data on the map is way too limited. Way too limited. There is no power output on the map, it just says AC or DC. DC generally means a fast charger. AC can mean anything from 7 to 8 hours, all the way to 30 minutes, so that says nothing. Uh, for a car like mine, um, so please ESB just get that map updated. Um, I'd like to see how many plugs there are, AC, DC, the power outputs, all that kind of stuff. It needs to be way, way more detailed. 
Um, okay, end of my rant. Uh, I'm going to go home now and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Um, bye. Alright, home again. 139.9 kilometers. Not a bad average. Um, average speed 51.7 kilometers. Total consumption 25. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, considering the temperature was 0 to minus 2. Okay, um, I'm going to call it a day for uh, this episode. Um, bye folks. Thanks again for watching.